Previously, Dexter and Jemima fierced the chop. I'm obviously quite hated within the house. I really don't want to go tomorrow. Wolfie and Charlie clashed. Not so fat. Please don't use the word fat. She's always mouthing off. I wake up to this every day. She says the wrong thing at the wrong time. People don't even take into consideration how the actual fat girl feels. <sighs> And Callum wanted it's out. Because you are nice to everybody, sometimes it might look a little bit contrived. Bridges have been burned. There's no reason for me to stay. Is there a way in which I can leave tomorrow? Tonight, the truth hurts. Who is the bitchiest housemate? Has to be Dexter. Which housemate makes you feel uncomfortable? My man. Who is the most two-faced housemate? Oh, my God. Jemima is given the boot. Jemima. I didn't want her to go. I wanted Dexter to go. <laughs> I'm just glad that she's gone, because I just really didn't like her. Good riddance, Jemima. Good riddance. And housemates are exposed. This is amazing. <laughs> my living every day is made by stirring things up. Oh, my God. I see between 15 and 17 girls a month. How can you treat girls like that? That's true, Dexter, all over. Ended up doing a mother and daughter. I can't believe that. Oh, Callum has slept with a mother and daughter. You've never really talked about how many girlfriends you've had. Jackie. Secrets and lies, eh? Dear 16, 9.30 a.m. It's eviction, dear. Tonight, either Dexter or Jemima will leave the house. Sharing in the rain is going to be fun. Is it raining? Yeah. Is it really raining? Yes. It's really, really. It's bloody rough this morning. <laughs> Wolfie's argument with Charlie from last night is still on her mind. You still not spoke to Charlie about what happened? No, not yet. She didn't even approach me. She didn't even say good morning or anything. No. She didn't even say good night last night when she went around the room and said night to everyone. Interesting day for you. You seem totally cool, Jan. It's a great thing to have. I'm not going to be doing handstands and cartwheels. No. <laughs> I'm just going to treat you like any other day, really. Yeah, yeah. What's the point of panicking? We're all going to go at some time. It's not like any this reflection. This is what I just said to Dexter, yeah. Dexter That's seems to be really panicking, doesn't he, about it's it? Dexter, though. I think he's kind of, I don't know, I get a take from him that he's kind of a little bit lost in life. And he's hoping that this might point him in a certain direction. Jackie is doing her morning workout. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Dex. How are you? Did you sleep all right? You were no. tossing and turning a bit. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Last night, following some home truths from Dexter, Callum told Big Brother he wanted to leave. I think sometimes, it's because you are nice to everybody, sometimes it, it, it's, it might look a little bit contrived sometimes. That's the thing. I didn't really? see it. I didn't see it first, but now I'm starting really? to sort of, I'm just getting picking well, up with vibes. With me? I'm, I'm just picking up vibes. Bridges have, haven't just been broken down tonight. There's no reason for me to stay. There's no benefit to it. So. You know, is there a way in which I can leave tomorrow? After sleeping on it, Callum's come to the daily room. How are you? Um, I don't retract anything I said last night. I'm still 100% that there's no benefit to me staying here. However, it comes down to the fact that I won't quit anything, I won't walk away from anything. It's, it is back to square one with almost the entire house. You know, 
people are questioning the fact that I'm so easy going and they're going, hmm, you can't be that easy going, there must be something else going on. But um, who cares what they think? I genuinely was probably naive. I didn't think anyone would question the fact that I'm friends with a lot of people in here. Uh, well, close to some, and not so close to some, but friends with the majority. And and for that in, its, in itself to be questioned is, is a sad scenario, but don't worry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. 10.55 a.m. Hazel and Dan are getting to grips with each other. All right, mate. How are you doing? Oh. Hazel, you're so sexual in everything you do. Stop it. <laughs> no. Oi. Hey, you're such a little cat, aren't you? I know. Ow, your snails are really sharp. Sorry, did I scratch you? Yeah. Where? I don't know. Oh, there, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Was it Wolfie has come to the diary room to let off some steam. I think some people in here are really inconsiderate when it comes to other people. Um, at the end of the day, you can't just go around offending at least someone every day, you know? And Wolfie, who's most guilty of doing that? Charlie. You know, it really offended me um, that she kept dropping the F-bomb, the fat word. My jeans are so tight and I feel fat. Are you my size? Where well, have you ever been my size? Be honest. No, not, no, um, exactly. no, 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 it's not, it's not about that. It's just, it's relative, isn't it? It's like, no, I personally it's feel not. in, it, it is it's for not me. It's not fat, is it relative? I wake up to this every day. You don't. It just annoys me when people fling that word about carelessly, not even thinking that it affects other people like me, Joe and Jack. You know? Because we are fat. You know, me and Joe and Jack have had a chat about it, you know. But we're happy with who we are. We ain't, we ain't trying to change who we are, you know. You don't see me doing press-ups every day, you know. Like, I might go for a jog or something, you know, just to kind of keep health and make sure my lungs are all right, because, you know, I smoke. But, you know, they just have no regard for how other people feel. And that's what annoys me. And she never thinks before she opens her mouth. Oh, I can't wait for that chat. Woo! <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie has asked her mum for some advice. You absolutely have to sort it out. Mm. You know, one way or the other. So if you feel you need to speak to her, just go up to her and say, Look, can I go to the treehouse? Oh, no, I, de I definitely want to. Yeah. It's just, Wolfie's a very, very particular character. Yeah, but even so. So you don't want to approach when you know she's just in that in, 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 in one of them. Well, just say, look, when you're ready, could we have a chat in the treehouse? Yeah. And, just, and say to her, look, just come and get me when you're ready, because I'd like to yeah. chat you in the treehouse. Yeah, yeah. Leave it on her terms. Yeah, absolutely. Eleven twenty-eight a.m. Housemates are tucking in to a hearty breakfast. Yo, where's the sausages we cooked yesterday? The extra ones? I don't know, I didn't see them. Where are they? I'm probably, they were on a plate, weren't they? Well, there's no plate in there. Someone must have eaten them. Some man have now, man. Are you sure they weren't left out, Wolfie? Yeah, they were left out, that's my point, but someone shouldn't have ate them. Shouldn't have ate what? The sausages and bacon was, was out for left today out. as well. Because we cooked too many yesterday. Yeah. I ate one of the sausages yesterday and it wasn't cooked, so I threw the other half of it away, the other one I left there. Oh. Because it was raw in the middle, Sophie saw me eat it. Why were we not supposed to eat them then? No, nah, they were meant to be for today as well. Why? Why were they supposed to be for today? Because we cooked too many of them, so obviously it wasn't fair for anybody else to eat any more. Well, it weren't cooked anyway, so, so no-one else would have wanted it. No, it no, raw. but we could have warmed it up as well, you know what I mean? There's no, like, trouble on that. Well, I only ate half of one, so someone else ate the other one. And a piece of bacon. I still, I don't even... I hate this about food. Like, I think everyone should just eat whatever they want and however much they want. Yeah, but then there would have been enough for everyone, G. 
Well, there's not enough sausages today, then, because those two got eaten, is there? I won't have a sausage today, then. Oh, this house should move and change so quickly. They weren't cooked Corn. yesterday, anyway. Half a bit. From Corinth? Oh, really? Oh. Are they eating yet? No, I've been moaned at because I ate half a sausage yesterday that was left over that wasn't even cooked. What? Why? Oh, I just can't stand it. Why are they moaning at you for that? Oh. Are they eating? They're eating. Some people have got mushrooms and beans and sausage and bacon, and then others have just got a little tiny bit of cold beans. It's like, I'd rather have just found it myself, my own fate. Oh. I hope they're saving me some. Now he's going to take it on everybody else today. Wonderful. Dexter has tonight's eviction on his mind. My, my gut instinct is that I will probably go because, obviously, you know, the public will want to keep Gem in because they like seeing her cook and stuff and, you know, she's, she's got a banging body and she wears sort of, like, kooky outfits and things, so maybe, you know, maybe the public will want to see that more. She's quite hard-faced and she doesn't show a lot of her, her emotions and she doesn't take criticism very well, so I think that... I think that deep down inside, she's, she, she thinks that she's definitely going to stay tonight. Definitely. 100%. 12.47pm. Wolfie and Jaw are discussing Jemima and Dexter. Dexter showed himself in quite a good light at the moment. We're in the last couple of days to me, which I, 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 I quite like. But then... I don't want Jemima to go because she'd been nothing ever but nice to me. Yeah, exactly. She's never said a bad word She's to me. She's never said a bad word about me, as far as I know. I mean, she but... just tries to try and one-up you when you're in conversation with her, but... but... Then whatever happens, it's not my battles to fight, is it? I'll have my own battles in here, but that's not one of them. So I will skip out of it and enjoy the fact that these trousers are getting looser by the day. Dexter and Dearly are sharing a moment of reflection. I mean, winning, winning it is the last thing on my mind. Mm. Literally, the last thing on my mind is winning it. Yeah. Now, whoever does fair play to them, they don't, mm. they don't, you know what I mean? They've earned it. Well, I, I said four weeks. If I could get four weeks, anything above four weeks, I'm halfway there. I mean, look, anything above two weeks for me is a bonus, you know? You know, and I, I will miss it if I go, and I will miss the people and stuff. It's like I said, I see the nice sides in anybody. You know, everybody makes me smile at some point or whatever. I'm not saying that everyone's personalities are to my taste, mm. but... You know, I'm used to being around different people in different cultures, and I'm very open-minded, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, some people in here, it's, it's just like blinkers. They only see what they want to see, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right, man. You know, there's a big, big, big wide world out there daily. Two twenty eight PM. For today's task, three housemates have the chance to win access to secret information about the rest of the house. What they don't know is that this information comes in the form of their audition footage. But first, they must unlock the three padlocks guarding the secrets. In order to earn a key, they must first divulge their opinion to one of Big Brother's awkward questions. However, only some of the keys will open the locks. I hate you all equally, so it's nothing personal. Okay. <laughs> Which housemate makes you feel uncomfortable and why? <laughs> Her little theme music. To my because sometimes <laughs> she uh, says things that are quite sound like an innuendo. <laughs> That's true. Sam should collect one key from the jar and attempt to unlock the padlocks. Okay. Good choice. Nice bit of camaraderie going on here. Oh. Which two housemates secretly fancy each other? Oh, 
Callum and Charlie secretly fancy each other because they've got a lot closer over the last few days, a few intimate moments looking into each other's eyes and maybe a little bit too much caressing in certain massages. Um, oh, my God. Not good enough. Not good you realise... Oh. And when we, were in the, um, when we were in the hiding in the storeroom task as well, they were, they were on the floor one... I beg your once, sexual once pardon. You <laughs> and, um, yeah, no, they're just looking a lot more closer and, and connected in... A, I'll have you know it's a very platonic relationship. You gotta get us now, Dex. Come on. This is Big Brother. Dexter should collect one piece in the jar and attempt to unlock the padlocks. Oh, oh, what a show. Which housemate do you think doesn't like you? To say me. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes, you've, been, you've not looked at anyone else. I think that Wolfie doesn't like me purely because we've had a little thing the last few days, we kind of just see each other's eyes, we haven't discussed it yet, but it's just a sense I get a feeling that I'm not liked. Charlie should collect one key from the jar and attempt to find lots of puppets. and Jemima were chosen to face the public vote. Reveal one of the other housemates you nominated this week and the reason why. What? I don't get that. I nominated Wolfie because I didn't think that she was a real housemate. I am a good actress, though. So you got to give me that. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dan for my Oscar because he believed in me. <laughs> Dan should collect one key from the jar and attempt to open it. Which housemate do you think has a crush on you? I think Callum, Daly, Dan, Dexter, James, <laughs> Sam yeah. have all got a crush on me. <laughs> they like the older woman. Beautiful. Experience. Older and experienced. Jackie should collect one key from the jar. Hey! Yeah. I weren't sure they're going to let her have it. Yes. Yeah. Go on. She'll get one as well. I've got a feeling. Got a feeling. With Jackie securing her place at the private screening, two locks remain. Who is pretending to be something they're not? There we go. Um, I think Dexter's trying to sum it is not. Um, no offence, but whenever you no talk taken. about your, your jobs and stuff and, uh, you know, the way that you kind of relay information to other people, with, like you did in the first week, particularly with Michael, you're kind of trying to be the bad guy, but you, you, ain't, you ain't got the kind of, you know, backbone to be spider, you know what I mean? So it ain't really working for you. I'm not trying to be the bad guy, Phil, but that's, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. This is Big Brother. Wolfie should collect one key from the jar and from the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As Wolfie is the second housemate to open one of the locks, she'll also get to view the housemate's audition footage. Sunstone, man. I can feel it's all right. <laughs> Reveal the housemate you like the least and the reason why. Um, Jemima, because I think that she makes Sam feel extremely uncomfortable sometimes. I mean, more than sometimes she realises. You can be having a conversation and it constantly comes back to to Jemima. Can I really be honest? Mm. I was actually going to answer to who liked you the least. I was going to say you. 
I just get that feeling from him. This is Big Brother. Callum should collect one key from the dark. Two forty six PM. For today's task, housemates are battling to secure access to secret information about each other. So far, Jackie and Wolfie have won their places for a private screening of the housemates' audition footage. With only one place remaining, what are housemates willing to divulge in order to learn each other's secrets? This is Big Brother. Which two housemates are you considering nominating next week and why? Oh, that's a bitch. Oh, I'm bad. I'm not answering this one. Don't press it, Jack. I, you can I see the Oh, bold. My first nomination would be the twins because they're clearly going to be the winners of the show and I'd like to turn the balance of power into someone else's favour. And the second nomination would be Jemima because I think that she's not in here for the experience, she's in here for ulterior gains and what she can get out of it when she gets out of the house. Spectre's honest, do I don't think you've spoken to me long enough, Dexter, to know why I'm in here, to be honest. So. This is Big Brother. Dexter should collect one key from the dark. Yeah, I think everyone has yeah. yeah. part of yeah. Jemima. No. Seriously. They would be. Who is the most two-faced housemate and why? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, Dexter, because he constantly stirs up situations within the house and he said he's in here for certain reasons and I think it's just really to improve his business. He said mentions about his girlfriend and he was like making sexual advances to me and other people in the house a couple of times. Car carry on banter, it wasn't sexual advances, Jemima, but that's No, he, he, you were asking, so, which actually made me feel uneasy, you were asking What, coming from the Queen of Innuendo? <laughs> Come on, no, but it's the, way, it's the way that you're saying it when you're lying on my bed. Innuendos is, is joking, it's different, it's totally different. You've been talking to, to the poor, poor boy since he's got here. Jemima should collect one key from the door. <laughs> Which housemate is the least popular in the house and why are they so unpopular? <laughs> I think Dexter is the least popular in the house, but I think that's because by his own admissions yesterday, he came in with a game plan, and the game plan has backfired. Um, I, I hope if he stays after tonight that um, he can relax a bit, be himself a bit more, and we can see the real Dexter, because I hope, because I have a feeling there might be a bit more to him than what we've seen so far, but he's least popular because he got his game plan wrong. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, it was a good, good answer. answer. Good answer, Dan. Dan should have collect one key from the jar. Sure. Bitch's housemate has to be Dexter because um, he actually goes from one group to the next and then the next group and I've heard so many things. I've heard him say, even in front of me, um, things that other people have said about them and and then he, he won't clarify and say who the other person is, which gets people really, really confused, and people don't really like bitchy, it. Bitchy, this is and No, but that is bitchy, though. That is bitchy. So I think that that's the bitchiest housemate. Gina should collect one of these. Do you imagine there was like that fire? Even a woman's rushing you. 
Okay. Oh! Yeah. Oh my word. This is Big Brother. All three padlocks have now been opened. Jackie, Wolfie and Gina should now open the chest and reveal their reward. I bet it is not secrets. I bet it's not secrets. I bet it's just something that... Oh, God. Oh, so this is going to be a task and a half. Mother. Well done, girls. Yay. Mm. Top secret. Oh, my. God, yes. Oh, my. Oh, I bet it's a video of us. Oh, God, this is Big Brother. Jackie, Wolfie, and Gina should keep hold of their reward. Jackie, Wolfie, and Gina should keep hold of their reward. Jackie, Wolfie, and Gina should keep hold of their reward and will be invited to watch this tape later today. Oh. High five. Yeah. Five twenty-six p.m. Here's the Landana talking about the task. It's it's only really to mind when it's taken it to heart. Jackson got a bad rap, didn't he? Yeah, but I think that was to be expected. And I think it's easy pickings. What about um, Dexter's thing about who we would nominate if he was still here? That means he's going to be tactful if he stays. Mm. Although it could have just been an easy out either. Yeah. He wasn't gonna... The twins didn't take offence because he did it in a complimentary way. He did it like... Yeah. You know, are you gonna win? It was a compliment and an insult wrapped in one. Sam is worried about Jemima. <sighs> How did we win? Oh. Right. Yeah. Do you have any help or anything? Do you have any help or anything? A lot, a lot, a lot of things. I mean, mm. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. I'm not yeah. going to move right yeah, now. Okay. Daily is in the diary room talking about today's revelations. Daily, do you anticipate Sam and Jemima's relationship changing after today's task? For Sam's sake, I hope so. Because if that was happening to me all the time, I feel a bit uncomfortable. So I know Sam's single and stuff, but. Let's put it away. Even if I was single, I would be a bit uncomfortable. I'm not, you know, knocking her age and things like that, but Sam's 24 years old. I think she's like 42 or 41 or something. Like, I mean, no, mm, no, 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 no. It's not right, not right, not right. Please get off me. Please get off my bed. Please don't touch me like that or speak to me in, in that kind of way or sexual way. I can imagine how Sam feels uncomfortable, especially if Jemima fancies him. She doesn't say it, but you can just see it and her actions and stuff. So I hope, for Sam's sake, it does change. You all right? What's happening, boy? You all right, Sam? Sam. No, oh, she's she talking to me little. All right, she's busy at the moment, isn't she? Leaving the girls to it. Sure, I do feel she kind of, uh? kind of harasses you. Mm. Like when you, when you want to get to sleep and stuff, yeah, that's just yeah. out of order. Yeah, yeah. She said to me, um, I know why they put me in the house. Now we're out of and then she said, oh, it's because I dated someone your age before I came in. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, hang on, no, no, what do you mean, yeah? Mm -hmm. And just since then, I felt a bit uncomfortable at all. Yeah, I know you have, mate. I know you have. <sighs> Maybe I should have spoken to him then, but I'm not in the mood right now. Because <sighs> then at least I would have had you two as witnesses. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. No, but I am. Six forty five PM Gina, Wolfie and Jackie have been called to the diary room. Hello Gina. Hello Hi. Wolfie. Hello Jackie. Hi. Hey. Congratulations on winning today's task. Thank, Thank you. Are you ready to enjoy your reward? Yes. yes. You should now enter Big Brother's secret lounge via the door to your left. Told you. Woo! Gina, Wolfie and Jackie will now be granted access to their fellow housemates audition tips. This is amazing. It's lovely. I'm worried mm. to see, actually, to be honest. Mm. These are pretty Moorish, aren't they? Mm. <laughs> very, very Moorish. Do you just grab the old You've got a big, a big dinner. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, can't wait for that all. I'm a oh, very controversial person, a very opinionated person, very outgoing, fun. 
Uh, I think I will bring the F to BB, fun, fit, feisty, flirty, forty. Um, I've always she got does. so much she to tries. say. Um, I'm a very funny person and uh, would definitely show that if I get the chance to get in the house. Fun, fit and flirty. I'm mm. 40. Um, <laughs> yeah, fun, she, fit She has got a good body, though. There's no question she does. about that. She oh, does. does. Jaw and Jemima are discussing to Dear's revealing oh, task. I, mean, I, I felt upset yeah. by the way Sam feels, and he's obviously seen it to be something yeah. than what it is. He still does see you as a mate, he still does really like you. I'm oh, upset by what he said, because um, I wouldn't want anybody to feel that way. Yeah. And no, I don't think anyone else does. You didn't feel that way, did you? No, of course not. It was, it was just innuendos. I love an innuendo. Of course, but I, I am. Like, like you said, I'm queen of innuendos. Yeah. I am. There's nothing, no, there's nothing wrong with and an innuendo. I'm not going to change that because of what he said. I'm obviously going to do it. Yeah, you should. No, you should never change your personality. It's part of me. You should never change your personality. Yeah, you should never change your personality. So far, they've watched Jack and Joe, <laughs> Sam, Sophie, and Daly's audition tapes. I come from Dublin in lovely Ireland, yeah. and mm. I do a bit of modelling, I do press yeah, and media, a dot. and I'm known as the controversial one. Um, basically, my living every day is made by stirring things up. To stir things up, you, you've got to be, you've got to have something put in front of you, and you add it up, you plot it, and then it kind of oh. goes from there. It's the evil inside. The evil <laughs> inside. See what comes from it. Oh, oh that, my God. That is not. No, that's, 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 her. Her. that's yeah. the real her. That's she the just real said. Hazel. Jesus. She just said. Oh my God. Yeah. This what is you say, lady? Jesus. Mm. That is very, very interesting. That's really interesting. The evil no. side. I'd have never have said that. I would have never no. thought that in a million years. No, nor would I. She's playing very well then. Yeah. Because mm. well, well, you never guess it. The game, mm. you know? There's a lot of game players in here. Oh, yeah, really there is. Smart. Oh, yeah, there is. The ones that are smart are the ones that aren't found out by the rest. Yeah. Mm. I can't believe that. No, I can't either. Mm. Disappointing. It's worrying in here. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of her a bit differently, aren't mm. I? Let's not say anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> Love him, um, Dan. Dan. When I say I didn't know I was gay, I'd probably lie, and I probably did have an idea, but um, I knew I was different. I knew that when I was at school, my friends were mainly girls. I liked watching Neighbours and listening to Kylie and Jason. All the stereotypical stuff that you would look at and go, well, this kid is going to grow up to be gay. That I'm the of life and soul of any party. But I'm, I'd like to think I'm the top of most people's sort of guest list. And I do like being centre of attention, I'm not going to lie, but at the same time, I can sit back and take in what's going on around me. Love Dan. I have a problem with the fact that he said he doesn't want to be... He told me, because mm. obviously we're the gays of the house, mm. but he told me that the one thing he didn't want to be seen as is mm. the gay. But from that, all I get is that he, stereotypical yeah. gay. At first, I thought Dan was an actor. Did you? I didn't believe that he was a detective. Mm. Really? Yeah. For me personally, like nothing to like to offend you guys or mm. him, but I feel that he's very, I don't know, like insecure. But it is quite funny how he's but, always trying to press the actor thing on other yeah. people. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So tell the brother about the life of being a sugar daddy. Well, you basically go around acting like Charlie Big Bananas, and it's like you use girls like accessories, like designer watches, for instance. You know, so if one day I want to go out with a blonde, then I'll get in contact with one of my blonde sugar babies. If I want to go out with a brunette, I'll get in contact with one of them. And each one has a different quality. So some are good for sex, some are good for conversation, some are good for the cute sort of girlfriend cuddling up the new onesies and... Well, there's true, know, Dexter. That's true, really. Dexter, all over. Month to month, I see approximately between 15 and 17 girls a month. A month? I what? A month? I've been sharing a toilet with him. Because I'm that sort oh my of person. God. I mean, I've got too much free time, and I'm a very, very deep thinker, and I analyse people. But that's what I do for a living. So, if you put me in there, you will get entertainment, and I won't just make the headlines like I do already. I will, I will, I will break the headlines. I break the headlines. I want to destroy all of those chab, chab, fame-hungry wannabes lives. I will give well, you like sex, you. fun, tears, and drama. You know you want me. Yeah. If I can oh make headlines God. without being in the house, imagine what I can do when I'm in the house. 
Oh my god! I had no idea. We share a toilet that's with Dexter. I had no. That that's the true. That is true Dexter. That is true Dexter. Right there. Dexter. So we now and know what he's like. He's a copy and. Uh, and this little innocent <sighs> game he's playing now. Yeah. He even said so is a little game. game players game where he player. was either going to be the the snake evil one or the bully victim, mm. and he is well playing the victim. And I can't bear that when people do that. You know you want me. Oh, oh yuck! Oh, cringe. As and hit with searches. I'm in the next bed to Dexter. I mean. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Here we go. Callum. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, big brother. My name's Callum. I'm from Maidstone in Kent. If you enjoy sex and you've got you've got the, the right package, you, you're going to get it. You're going to get some success. I mean, young, good looking, good physique, bit of banter about him. Um, it, just, it, it, you know, it comes naturally. You don't really have to work for it, do you? you end up doing, as I said in my original video, um, a mother and daughter um, separately. And I was unaware of the connection until running into an awkward mother, oh, awkward, in the kitchen, putting my fit, uh, shoes on the next morning. Um, but yeah, it's bad experiences too. I'm throwing in there, you know, mix it up a little bit. Here's my trump card, big brother, and use it every day of my life. Um, and I'll use it in the house too. I'm, I'm really uh, intelligent. I'm, I'm deceptively intelligent. I mean, the thing about me is... Um, deceptively intelligent. ...that trump card of um, not just looking the full package, but being the full package with a trump card, people don't expect me to be as intelligent as I am. Right. <laughs> Picture worth a thousand words. Oh my god, I don't really need um, to say anything to that. Deceptively intelligent mm, makes me I would me never wonder. have said Callum's... I thought he was like the you know. sweetest, kind of yeah, kindest, I did most too. caring guy. Sleeping and with a mother and daughter. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is shocking. not on. That's totally shocking and... Sorry, but no. Oh my! And watch out. <laughs> Don't worry. Callum's about. That's yeah. an interesting Callum's one. Mm, so it is an interesting mm, one. Yeah. Isn't Callum's it? and Hazel's. Are That's a real eye opener. Mm. Hazel's uh, real eye opener. Completely. Yeah. No way, Charlie fancies him. I know that. For you sure. know when Charlie likes. Oh, someone. I know when Charlie likes somebody, yeah. and there's no way. Mm. Really you can't not. believe anything he says now. <laughs> no. <laughs> anything about a man? Whoa! Anything secrets about and lies, eh? Mm. <laughs> 7.23 p.m. Jemima and Dexter are preparing themselves for tonight's eviction. I've got my mindset ready now anyway, so... I'm ready either yeah. way, to be honest. I really am. It's been just so like a roller coaster. The experience is just, a, you know, fantastic opportunity for, for anyone. But it's a bloody lot tougher than it looks. Let me tell you. How goes it? It's mentally fried. Mm. I could be wrong, but my personal opinion is I'm going. It's just generally been a life-changing experience, and I wouldn't change it for the world, to be honest. And I'm so glad that I did it. And it's it's, it's definitely going to pave the way of how my how my life will go in the future. If I do go, obviously when I get out there, I'll probably get a bit nervous and stuff, like you did when you come in. It's a bit shell-shocking, isn't it? I know. It is a bit. I hope I've made my mark. I definitely have, I think. I obviously make an impression on, on everybody in different ways, positive or negative. I, I try and turn that into a positive anyway. Thank you for everything. If I do leave, leave tonight, you've been fantastic. Thanks for having me. I am so nervous. God knows what they feel like. It's like going on a roller coaster when you go down and your stomach goes. I don't want to think that I'm going, but I have to sort of prepare myself yeah, I that I might be. Do you know what I mean? It's like could be a surprise. Because I mean he was up for eviction last week and mm. then he... Good luck, guys. Big brother house, this is Emma. <sighs> Dexter. Jemima. Oh. The viewers have spoken, and I can now reveal the housemate with the most votes and second to be evicted is.
Well done, well done, well done. I think Jemima was just Jemima. She was never going to change, whereas I think Dexter might show a different side of himself in the next few days. I hope he does. Cool. Good luck, Jen. Uh, yeah, like a superstar. Thanks for talking. Thanks for Jen. For everyone else, they probably just saw her being argumentative and quite front and quite forward. But to me, she was nothing but nice. I've had a bad right. I didn't want her to go. I wanted Dexter to go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Dexter. Oh. <laughs> Jemima, you have been evicted. Please leave the big brother house. Get up, my girl! Okay. Woo! Go, Jay. Go, She, like, kind of, like, keep me in check now and again. No, like, uh... Like my mother would do. Oh, I kind of miss her as well. I'm just glad that she's gone because I just really didn't like her. I felt really uneasy around her. Good riddance, Jemima. Good riddance. Thank you. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Serious. Get drunk. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm glad to. Ten forty two PM. It's been 36 minutes since Dexter survived this week's eviction. As long as I just hope he now can show another side of him, cos I'm going to be disappointed if he doesn't now. Mm, cos he did say that, didn't he? So we've all got to, like, watch out for that now. In my head, I think I can see reasons why people would vote. I think they're going to think we're really bitchy. Why? I don't know, I just do. My lord! Dead right. What you guys make of that? I expected you, Mama. Did you? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I didn't. Did you not? No. I expected you, Mama. How some... come? I don't know why, but for some strange reason, I knew it was going to be Jemima. How come? Yeah, I knew that too. I don't know. Like, I knew that. I, I wanted the other one. God knows I wanted the other one, but I knew it was going to be her. Oh, yeah. It's literally just how the public perceive you. Exactly. I'm scared for Monday now. A relieved Dexter has come to the diary room. Hello, Dexter. Hello, big brother. How are you? In shock. Utter shock. After getting a battering in today's task and all the events of this week, I really thought that I was out, and I'd just like to really thank the public for standing by me and, um, and, and my housemates, and I'm going to do my best to take in everything that they said in today's task. And I'm... Um, just generally being nicer and stop sort of flitting between the groups, like they said, because that's the main thing that they hate. If that's what they don't like, then that's what I'm going to try and not do. And, you know, hopefully become a better housemate, you know, and hopefully change a few people's minds about what they think of me. And that, that means a lot to me. Eleven or seven p.m. <laughs> Wolfie and Charlie are trying to find a quiet place to talk. Yeah. Right. Do you want to talk? Or yeah, like down to business. Um, I just really, it really offended me yeah. um, that you said that fat was relative because it isn't at all. Insecure is relative. Yeah. That's fair enough, fair you enough. know. And to say maybe something like. Oh, I put on a bit of weight. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. You know, but fat, like people use that word so loosely and don't understand the repercussions it has on yeah. people like me, Joe and Jack. Mm -hmm. Like we're happy with the way we are, but when someone uses that word, it really pisses us off. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not, you're not at all. Mm -hmm. And no offence. I mean, I know, I know you had an eating disorder, mm -hmm. but the thing is, if you chop my leg off and chop yeah. your leg off, yeah. mine would have that layer of fat. Do you know what I mean? Whereas mm -hmm. yours wouldn't. Callum is having a heart-to-heart -heart with Sam. One of the questions, one of the questions in the task was, um, 
who's really, really getting close in the house, who fancies each other. Oh, yeah, and Dexter. Dexter yeah. said. Yeah, yeah, you and Charlie, yeah. And then she said, Plutonic, and that word means just friends. But um, doesn't stop me fancying the girl, do you know what I mean? I've got a lot of time for Charlie, not just in that way. I trust her as well. Yeah. I do, I do. She's trusted. I do trust her. Yeah. I do. That's I the thing I like about you two, is um, you're all, like, very understanding, you listen a lot. Yeah. And to me, that sound, Charlie sounds like that, like, she type needs of thing it. she needs. She needs it. Yeah. She's a lot of mouth, I yeah. know she is. But that's where I was. Yeah. We're very similar. Yeah. But the thing is, um, like, you know, like, I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm flirty, I'm outlandish, yeah. I'm a laugh, you know, and, and we are quite similar, and that's mm. probably why we kind of have a couple of differences. Well, I'm so glad no, that you just yeah, explained yeah, yeah, your side. Cool, cool. um, but promise me, f from, from while we're in here, it's a very, I lose my perspective quite easily. Yeah, yeah, I get it, too, I, yeah. I'm very, I get it easily and I lose it easily. Yeah. So I can get myself back quickly, but I can lose myself easily. Um, I get caught in the moment, I get carried away, and I do say the wrong thing. I can't change who I am, but at least I can be, I can be open to developing mm. and willing to learn. And if there is anything, mm. I'll come to you, you come to me, and that's it. Pound it. Yeah, no hugging, just pound. Mwah. Right. Now I can have my alcohol. <laughs> we need that. 12.53 a.m. Gina has come to the divy room. I feel that I would have been happy that Dexter stayed if I didn't see the tape earlier. Seeing the tape today made me go back to square one about Dexter, change my whole opinion on him and make me feel ill. I actually feel sickened that I even saw that tape, like 18 girls a month, 18 girls a month that he would sleep with and go out with, like, oh, oh. I've sat in the diary room numerous amount of times saying to myself, I actually feel sorry for Dexter because I actually felt really guilty for not even nominating him because I was like, oh, unfortunately, Dexter, I'm nominating him because I feel really, really bad. Why would I... Why, why do people play me all the time? Like, why, why am I so stupid? What, what, uh! Despite watching their fellow housemates audition footage earlier, Gina, Wolfie and Jackie are yet to reveal what they saw. Jackie is now quizzing Callum on his past. Why do you ask about my background? Because I'm intrigued, because the other day you were lying there on the floor oh, and you were really talking about, I know, your blah, 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 blah. You were opening up. Yeah, you've never it's really talked about, I know, I know. you know, last how last many last girlfriends you've had or... I don't know, because you said you got booed when you came in. Lots of long-term girlfriends. Long-term girlfriends. Nine sex partners, which isn't a lot, 28 years old. No, no, there's no. And I was portrayed as the Lothario because I do some topless dancing in a cabaret club once a month. I didn't know that. You do now. Topless oh, dance. I love it! <laughs> Topless dancing in a cabaret club. Nothing too impressive. Callum it's the YMCA does. and it's the... How do you Macarena. do the YMCA? Can you show us? Don't have a drink. It's Jackie. Go on. Too deep in thought then. He does top dance dancing in a cabaret club. No, no, and that's where the kind of the, the stigma came from. Okay. You're much more serious than Jack. You know me now. You know me now. And that's not me. Yeah. It's easy and it's easy for Jack to start I've got to go to the loo. I have got to go. Oh, Excuse me, moi. Yeah. Right. What amazing night. Sham. <sighs> oh, sorry, I'll be darling. Right back. Is that your plate there? Yep. Well, I'll take no, it. I'll be right back. Oh, I'll take them in. Lenny. 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 Right, I'm going to make another pancake. Anybody want yeah, one? They're gone. They're gone. Oh. Mum? Mum? Yeah, I'm just going over here, Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> what? On that video, yeah. Yeah, you got everybody's speaking about themselves. Yeah, Callum has slept with a mother and daughter. Sure to... And I'm trying to get it out of him. Oh, yeah. I can't tell anyone. Are you can't tell anyone. telling me. No, 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 because no, they said we can tell you. Me? Right. No, everybody. We can uh, tell everybody. Well, we chose, the three of us chose not. To say anything and just say, look, we'll tell you in a couple of days. But so I'm you're playing a thing of all of us. I'm playing on it, you know, because he's playing. 
So? So? Maybe so. So what? No. So no. those people are. So. No. Staring, it looks like you're trying to. No. It's not nice because if it, I don't think it's true. But, um, but I'm going to say one of everyone. I'm not telling you. Oh, you're joking. It's only a joke and a laugh, but a I joke thought it was quite and a laugh. Quite amusing. Yeah, but not true. Well, how do you know? No, no, I just no. Know. Come on, Charlie. How do you? Because I just know. Yeah, if I'm day, buddy, that'd be Three or eight a.m. Hazel and Dan are bosom buddies. Welcome ah! to tomorrow. Give me your get on top of me. <laughs> Welcome to tomorrow. Things are getting worse. I know. I'm not. I'm just hugging my dick. Uh, I bet you ain't two weeks in. Oh. Oh, Actually, you do. Stay for it. Lie down for me. It's a thing. Ah, that's my boobs! No, it's not. It is. It was not. Stop it. it really do is. it. No, it really is. No, do it. No. It was all the time. Do it. Sunday, you do that thing where you're. You motorboated me. No, I think I'm going to go. Give me a hug. <laughs> Jackie remains suspicious of Callum. You've now shown us that video. So if you confront people and sort of, or rather, you know, you try and sort of ask them very subtly about their lives, you don't know whether they were saying that in the video to get into the BB house or whether that, and that's absolutely true. So what can you do now? There's so many secrets and lies that nobody knows in terms of we would love to have been the little detectives tonight and and sort of um, I could have sort of talked to Callum and found out whether he meant what he said on his video. How do I know? Maybe he has slept with all those women and, and, and whatever, but, you know, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Stay tuned for Bit on the Psych, where AJ and Ian Lee are joined by Dr Funke and evicte Jemima. Yeah.